Sikumalo's life has been nothing but controversial, from losing the father of a child to struggling to get endorsement deals because of bad publicity and social media bullying. Kelly hasn't had a smooth life in the entertainment industry. Kelly's tumultuous dating history. Kelly hasn't been lucky in love. Her first famous boyfriend, Prosperm Kwaiwa, was also her manager. The two broke up after she allegedly miscarried her pregnancy after finding out that Prosper was cheating on her with a waitress. Next came Jub Jub, who she broke up with after he went to prison for accidentally killing four children. That is when she found love with the second baby daddy, Senzo Meiwa. Unfortunately, he passed away at her mother's house in 2014. Then came Baka the Sangoma, who allegedly refused to leave his wife for her. Her last high-profile relationship was with Chad Dadon, who proposed on live TV. The two later broke up over abuse claims. Kelly has kept her boyfriends a secret since then. But aside from the blessings that are her children, her relationships have been full of agony. Her relationship with Jub Jub. Jub Jub allegedly used to beat her and even hit both Kelly and her mother at one point. He was controlling and his abuse led to Kelly miscarrying their first child. She says Jub Jub would demand money from her and would beat her up if she refused. The two later had a son together called Christian. He also introduced her to drugs. She finally had the courage to leave after he got arrested for accidentally killing four kids and injuring two others after drag racing while high as a kite. Jub Jub for his own part says he never wanted Kelly but she used Muti to trap him. Although they have a son together, they are not on speaking terms and the two stay shading each other on social media. The two broke up over a decade ago but the scars and the abuse will always follow Kelly. Senzo Meiwa. After her failed relationship with Jub Jub, Kelly started dating married Bafana Bafana star Senzo Meiwa after they met on holiday. The two dated and moved in together. Kelly says she only found out he was married after she had fallen pregnant. After that, their relationship got messy. Kelly even gave Senzo's wife Mandisa a hot clip over Senzo. Senzo chose Kelly and cast Mandisa aside. A few months later, their baby daughter was born. Tingo's father was dead before her first birthday. Senzo was gunned down in Kelly Kumalo's family home in an alleged botched house robbery. Kelly, her sister Zandi, her boyfriend Longe Twala and her mother Ndombi were among the eight that were present at the time of the shooting. But to this day, no one has admitted to knowing who killed Senzo. Senzo's death has dogged Kelly Kumalo, leading to eight years of constant bullying by the public, with many calling for her arrest in connection with Senzo's murder. She has received death threats, been booed off stage and boycotted on more than one occasion, and will most likely be trolled until Senzo's killer is found. Her strained relationship with her family. Kelly's relationship with her mother has always been strained. The two fell out when Kelly ran away from home in grade 10 after she decided to dump school and pursue music. Kelly came back after six months, but the damage had already been done. Just last year, Kelly's mother packed her bags and left Kelly's house after a fight over Kelly's biological father. The two are currently in therapy together trying to patch things up. Aside from her issues with her mother, Kelly and her sister Zandi had a very public fallout. Zandi even divorced Kelly and refused to have anything to do with her, claiming Kelly is toxic. The two even got their lawyers involved. Zandi threatened to get a restraining order at some point. They haven't reconciled as yet. Possible jail time. Senzo Meiwa's murder trial is ongoing and one of the former defense lawyers on the case, Advocate Tefo, claims Kelly was the one who shot Senzo Meiwa. Of course, there are other theories about Kelly's involvement. Some say she was in contact with the hitman, while others claim she cleaned up the crime scene to cover up the murder. At this point, it's not clear if the murder trial will leave her untouched. Loss of income. All of these stories have also cost her a lot of money. Kelly struggles with getting brand deals because her reputation has been tainted by all the bad publicity. She says with endorsements, you can't be yourself. I have had so many negative stories and I wonder who will want me to be an ambassador. Clearly it's hard being Kelly Kumar. 